Hey guys, it's Jessie V. So today I thought I would do more of a vlog style video. It's kind of more of an update on the video that I posted, I think three days ago, was it? I think it was three days ago. I posted a video about how there is so much evidence going on in my house right now that leads to the fact that there might be someone living in my attic. And I know that's really dramatic to say, but I had so many strange things happening around me. I made a list on my phone. I told you guys everything that was happening. And even you guys were so freaked out by what I was saying and I think that like every other comment that you guys posted was telling me to set up security cameras around my house and do it overnight and try and see if anything happens or if I catch anything so I did end up setting up my vlog camera I set it up one time in the attic pointing up towards the door and then I set one up in my bedroom pointing to the closet door so I got two different angles I'm about to look at the footage I haven't even seen it yet, <laughs> but if nothing happens in it I'll probably still still post this update anyway because you guys probably want to know either way But when I'm editing this is when I'll actually know which is uh kind of interesting. And I also do have one sort of creepy update to tell you guys about this whole thing. But before I actually get into it, I do have a couple announcements for you guys. The first one is that I am doing a meet and greet slash show and it is totally free. It's for anyone that's in Ontario, Canada. It's going to be on July 9th from 7 to 9 p.m. It's going to be at Garden Square in downtown Brampton. It's completely free so you don't have to worry about money or tickets or anything else like that. Just show up. I'm going to be showing a few of my videos. I'm going to be having a meet and greet. I get to hug you guys and see you guys and my new merch would be there if you guys are interested but honestly I just can't wait to see you guys. Um, for those of you who aren't in Ontario, Canada, don't worry. Over this next year I really want to start planning more shows and tours around the world because I want to meet all of you guys but I just heard about this show in downtown Brampton and I really had to go. I didn't put this together myself. The city of Brampton did so I'm not going to be the only YouTuber there. There's going to be a bunch of other YouTubers there. I don't really know who is on the list yet. I'm pretty sure they're going to be putting it up on their website very soon, but I'm going to be there. My sister Mandy V is going to be there, so if you want to meet us and hang out, definitely come. It's July 9th from 7 to 9 p.m. And the second announcement is that we are selling out the new merch, the new Embracer Woodside merch. There is a purple one and a white one, so if you would like one of these new burnout tank tops, it's for summer. It's limited edition, so once they're gone, they're gone. I will put a link to those down below, but anyway, Anyways, let's just uh, get into this little update video. All right, so after I posted that video a couple days ago telling you guys all the weird things that were happening around my house, one more thing did happen. I think, was it yesterday? I posted about it on Twitter because basically whenever I have like a creepy update about the whole attic thing or just anything in my life, I always post stuff on Twitter. So if you're not following me there, definitely go check it out. But basically I work from home every day and Ty goes to work really early in the morning. So I'm just sort of home alone, just like working and doing my thing. So I woke up around 9 a.m. and I walked down into the kitchen and I was just making breakfast I was hanging out with my dog like just doing the normal stuff I went back upstairs and I came down like two hours later and I walked into the kitchen and Sitting on the countertop was a cup of tea and it was newly made. It was just sort of sitting there. No one had drank from it. So I think I have a picture of it, but it was just sitting there on the counter, the tea bag still inside. I was so weirded out by it. So I tweeted the picture and it's weird because like, let's just say someone had made themselves a cup of tea, right? They put the tea bag in, got everything ready. And then suddenly they heard me coming down the stairs. So they just like left it and ran. And that's why the tea bag was still inside. I don't know. It's totally weird, but obviously there's like logical explanations. Like I said before, my family members do have keys to my house. Although I don't know why they wouldn't like come say hi to me if they randomly came in. I don't know. The other option is that Ty made it before work. And when I went down in the morning, I didn't see it until the second time I came downstairs. I don't know. There's tons of logical things to kind of go by, but that was just like the little weird update I had. So for those of you who haven't seen what the inside of my attic looks like, I did post a video about a year ago in the summer where Ty and I opened the doors to the attic. So I'm going to insert a few clips here just in case you forgot or maybe you haven't seen. There are two different entryways to my attic. I know it's totally weird. I don't, I've never heard of that before. I've only ever heard of people having houses with one attic. So I don't know why there's two doors, but I'm going to insert some clips here. If you have not seen what the inside of my attic looks like, if you've seen it already, just fast forward a little bit, just a tiny little bit and uh, we'll go from there. So there's two different entrances to my attic. So we're going to go look through this one first. 
which is on the side of the wall, which I've never seen before. Ugh, scary. Okay, I'm gonna well, bring my camera. Been moving around, something's it? been moving around. I told you, there's something in there. Yeah, there was definitely movement in there. Yeah. A couple weeks ago. This is my um, slightly messy closet, but anyway. This is the second one. Okay. Let's see. Woo! Can you see? Just take the camera. There we go. Watch, we're gonna like think everything's fine. And there's gonna be like some scary. Maybe I wouldn't even know until we watch the footage. Yeah. So yeah, that's what it looks like inside. Definitely scary and spooky. The flashlight cannot capture every single corner of what's in there. So like people can hide, okay? People can hide. But um, yeah, that's what we're dealing with. So basically the other night I set up a camera inside of my closet, staring up at the attic door. And I left it on for a few hours just to see what would happen. I know that I told you guys that I hadn't watched the footage, so I literally just went on my computer and watched it because I felt like there's no point in me doing an update if I haven't actually watched the footage that I set up. So the camera that I put in my closet facing the attic door, I didn't catch anything or not anything obvious that I could see. So I'll show you like a quick 30 second fast forward version of me setting that camera up in there. If you guys see any small movement or anything, definitely let me know. But as far as I know, I didn't capture anything there, but here it is. Is I do not have a night vision camera so my closet light had to be on while I was recording that which I feel like is slightly counterproductive because if there was someone living in there they could easily see the light on and not want to come out so that was sort of that kind of sucked on my end so then I thought okay let me turn the light off in the closet and then I'll put the camera outside the closet door because obviously if they come down from the closet they're gonna have to open the door and get out of there right so I set the camera up there as well and I didn't catch anything there either but I will show you a quick sped up version of that right here. And then I did the same thing to the other room, the one I'm in right now actually, that has the second entryway to the attic because, you know, they could be coming out from either one. So I'll insert the two different angles of this room right now, there you go. So as you can tell, I didn't catch anything personally and obviously this is just a few hours of footage. I don't have a camera that could literally like record for 24 hours unfortunately. <laughs> but I did choose to set them up at a time where I found that I've caught the most weird things happening in my house. So yeah, I don't know. The reason why I decided to even post this video even though I didn't catch anything is because you guys were like begging me to put up cameras and just show what I caught so yeah. That is what I caught. Do I think there's someone actually living in my attic? I mean, I highly doubt it. As I said in my last video, it would be super, super hot up there in the summer. And I feel like they would only be able to go for so long without us catching them because a person running around your house and climbing down from the ceiling and opening doors, I mean, it's so obvious. It'd be so loud. I feel like we would know right away. <laughs> the only reason why I made these videos is because the strange things that have been happening just, just like lead to that. Whoever we tell these stories to, they're like, you definitely 
definitely have someone in your attic. So I thought it'd just be entertaining to post stuff like this and also to just set up cameras and see what would happen anyways. I mean, it also could just be paranormal activity. Like a lot of you guys were saying, like it could be just ghosts messing around with you. Totally, I would believe that because so many things in my life just point back to that, unfortunately. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about all this. I won't be posting another video on the matter unless something like extreme happens. So if you want to see my little strange updates of what's happening in my house, definitely follow me on Twitter because I will be posting stuff on there about this whole situation. But um, yeah, my life just gets stranger by the second, I swear. Anyways though, before I get going, in case you did not know, Moot has a new video on his channel. It is so funny. He's terrified of the toaster. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he's hilarious. So if you want to watch Moot's new video, I will link it down below. And yeah, I have a bunch of awesome new videos coming out this week. In fact, a lot of them are very, very personal and I'm very scared to post them, like terrified almost. So um, yeah, stay tuned for those. And I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for being the most supportive family in the entire world. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!